Hi friends, welcome to another video of Karen's World. Today's video is based on a request from my subscribers, as they told me to make a video on comprehension. But before we start this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for letting me pass 100 subscribers, and it means a lot to me. So, now I'm done, let's get on with the video. So friends, I'm going to be telling you 14 tips for to help you with comprehension. And these tips can go for any academic test, like for the 11 plus, for SATs, for any tests that you have in school. So hope you enjoyed these tips. Let's get started. So my first tip is to eliminate the words or phrases in your context. And so what I mean by that is I had this problem that um, I wasn't, I, I was, I was unable to understand the comprehension I'm given. So the solution to this is you should um, eliminate the words and phrases that you don't, that, that you think like, oh, this is not useful towards my questions. Just eliminate them, and then you can only focus on the key words, and that will make you understand a lot more about the comprehension context. The second tip that I have for you guys is to find your strengths first. What I mean by this is people like me usually go reading the passage and then go answering the questions. And that's what I normally do and that's what people may normally do. But some people may find that uncomfortable and they might find that hard time to answer the questions. So the solution for this is to like um, go, get the bottom up approach. So what I mean by this is you should go reading the questions first and then go on to and then go read like read the questions and then make sure you like understand fully what they're asking for and then go reading the passage because then you get a um, lot more of an idea on what to do in this comprehension section. But ultimately you are the better judge of deciding which approach you want for your comprehension because I'm just telling you guys these two approaches because you might find the bottom up approach um, a bit hard to cope with and you find the the other like the original one better so yeah it's it's up to you the third tip that i have for you guys is really crucial for reading comprehension, and it's improving your vocabulary vocabulary why do you need good vocabulary for reading comprehension i'll tell you reading comprehension always needs good vocabulary because you might come across these a new word and then you're just me thinking what does that mean what does that mean I have no idea and you just keep keep spending that the whole time on that and then finally your timer runs out and then you've got yourself no marks because you haven't answered you haven't answered any questions but that's fine because i had this problem as well and here are some solutions to it start reading good english materials anything like newspapers, stories, like good stories by like Harry Potter from J.K. Rowling, Michael Moore, Pergo, people like that, or, or sorry, authors, comics, textbooks, anything that keeps you immersed in good English. And you, you will not realize, but new words will gradually sink into your subconscious mind while reading these, these type of books. Second solution, could be to keep a notebook and um, note down the new words that you learned today and then revise them periodically. And the last solution that I have for you is to keep a target and schedule to learn a certain number of new words every day. But you are the better person to, de to decide the number. I, I'm not. And one thing is to do not deviate from the schedule at any cost. This, this tip is really important for comprehension tests and I, re I know I mentioned this tip in my other videos and it's called labelling. Do not read your reading comprehension like a movie novel. While going through the passage, your three body organs should act in collaboration. Your eyes, your hands and your brain. Make a habit of finding valuable keywords quickly and underline those keywords with, with a pencil. So if at all you have to read the comprehension passage again, you can just go through and skim and scan on the keywords, not to all the unusable words in the passage. 
My, my next tip is from my experience and it's called visualizing what you are reading. My parents and my tutor told me to visualize what you are reading inside your head whilst reading the comprehension passage. Because I had this big problem of not understanding the passage. And what they mean by this is because when you visualize what you are reading inside your head, you get um like you 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 like understand the context more thoroughly and you can understand and you can answer the questions more quicker. This tip is for complex reading comprehensions. Usually reading comprehensions are taken from scientific essays or from well-known fiction. Often these sentences are quite complex to understand. If you are not aware of this fact, you might be puzzled by those questions. So you have this problem, here are some solutions. Improve your vocabulary, like I said. Read and solve comprehensions like this, as many as possible, but that but the are easier than these ones. And solve passages from different fields of knowledge, like science, arts, literature, politics and economics, etc, etc. My next tip is focus, and this, and this happens to me as well. It's not an issue for any person to wander somewhere while reading something uninteresting. So when you find comprehension dull, difficult or uninteresting, your eyes run through the sentences, but your mind wanders somewhere else. And the result? You complete the reading comprehension, but you grasp nothing. Solution for this is to focus on the content and don't let your mind go away from there. If it starts daydreaming, tell yourself and bring it back to reality. Say, tell yourself that you have plenty of time left after the test. Improving your reading speed for comprehension is a very crucial thing because I had this problem of um, when, like moving my lips whilst reading the passage and do not ever do that because that will slow you down whilst reading the comprehension and that will lead you to time management problems. So if you have this problem, like what I had, here are some solutions for it. Go on a fresh mind. Read the re start the comprehension on a fresh mind, like on a morning when you're when you've just brushed your teeth, had some breakfast, and your mind is all very active and jolly. That time is is the best and sweet point of doing comprehensions because then you'll understand the context more and you can read the comprehensions much much faster. My next tip is to solve previous papers and this will help you for comprehensions because by solving previous papers you can understand and identify what kind of questions are appearing in the examination or, or the tests so that you will be mentally prepared for those kind of questions like some questions might be simple some, are, some could be to draw inferences some reading comprehension questions will ask you about a specific word from a paragraph or some are parallel or some or some are parallel reading questions and you might be stuck on that on that question parallel reading comprehensions question sorry here it is parallel reading parallel reasoning questions ask you to identify arguments with similar logic the argument in the stimulus contains certain patterns that you will match to the arguments in the in the answer choices My next tip is, to, is called don't draw on outside knowledge. Don't make conclusions which are not on the comprehension. Though you are well aware of the topic mentioned on the passage, you should not bring your own knowledge into the answers. Just stick to the information given in the comprehension. Going back to the question will help you buy a lot. For answering your for answering your question because when you finish reading the comprehension text and when you go to the questions, you 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 will probably go back to the passage and start reading, start looking for the keywords that's been asked in the question. But then you might have forgotten it. Maybe. But you should always go back to the question to get a full understanding of that, of what they're asking for. Because if you don't get a full understanding, understanding of the question, then it will take too much time to, to get your answer 
or maybe your answer may be wrong or it won't make sense. My next tip is to overcome your panic. Whilst focusing on the passage, if you stare at the letters for a long time, your eyes feel uncomfortable. So often, close your eyes for a while, then take a deep breath and start again. Don't get panicked by the difficulty of the questions. Be prepared for them. And you, you guys can do this. My next, my, my second to last tip is to learn what's best for you. Whatever strategies mentioned here are not hard and fast rules. They are flexible. If you feel they don't work for you, then you can alter them to suit your needs. You are the judge after all. I've just mentioned these tips for you to help you guys. You may not find them comfortable and you might not like, you can't, you might not, it might be able to cope with them. That's fine guys. I'm I've only mentioned 14 tips to you. And my last tip is the best tip here. Just read for success. Comprehension always needs reading as a part of so to succeed in comprehension. Just read guys, just read. Keep on reading and reading and reading different types of books and materials. And then, like, you'll be defeat. You'll be able to defeat any question there. I know you guys can do it. So, friends, again, I hope I'm not expecting all these um, tips to help you. If they did, fabulous. Big thumbs up to you guys. Um, and yeah, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Karen's World. Bye. Oh, I forgot to turn the video off.